last October, um, my parents moved into a senior's um, community. And moving into that community um, has been good for them. And one of the things that they kind of encourage the uh, families to do that move in there is to sit with different people in the dining room at, at dinner time. And so this night in January, my parents went into the dining room and um, they didn't have anybody to sit with. So the people that worked there put them with another couple that didn't have anybody to sit with. And so they sat down and started to get to know each other. And my dad noticed that the um, gentleman had kind of a accent. And my dad said to him, um, where are you originally from? And the gentleman said, I'm from Eastern Europe. I said, oh, that's kind of interesting because I was in Eastern Europe during World War II. And the guy said, well, so was I. And my dad said, well, to be more specific, I was over in Belgium. And, and the guy said, well, that's interesting because I was too. So my dad said again, well, to give you a little more detail, I was in Battle of the Balls, and, and the guy said, so was I. My dad said, well, this is interesting because I was at the Battle of the Bridge of Morgan. He said, what were you doing? And the gentleman said, I was a gunner on a German tank. My dad kind of stopped for a second, and he said, that's really interesting. And the gentleman said, why? And he said, because um, there was only one tank there when I got shot. And the gentleman said, <clears throat> as his mouth began to drop, that means I shot you. Mm -hmm. And um, it was kind of a, my mom said, kind of a quiet moment as these two guys look at each other and realize that they were enemies during the war. And here they are sitting across from the table from each other. And this individual had shot my dad. Mm. And my dad finally spoke up first and he said, look, um, you did what you had to do during the war and I did what I had to do. And they have since become very good friends. And my dad celebrated his 89th birthday in February, and um, he asked Bernie and his wife to come and, and be a part of that birthday gathering. So when they were enemies during World War II, and now they're good friends in the community they live in, it's kind of interesting how God works that all out. Mm -hmm. And you never know when you might be sitting across from somebody who was your enemy at one time who could 